Autonomous vehicle technology is rapidly advancing. We're seeing incremental uh, increases in how we see it used in vehicles, and public transportation is also part of the overall strategy. The idea of fully autonomous and driverless vehicles on public transit systems is in its infancy. There are pilot projects happening around the world, and this week, beginning in Whitby, Ontario, located just east of Toronto, we're seeing a new project begun. It's called Wave. It's a fully autonomous, driverless, although there is attendance on board vehicle that's going to run an actual route to Durham Region Transit. It's media preview day. I get to go on this thing and take a look at how it's like riding the Wave. Wave, which stands for Whitby Autonomous Vehicle Electric Shuttle, utilizes a vehicle known as Ollie which is a 3D printed electric autonomous shuttle designed and manufactured by American company Local Motors. It's built in Knoxville, Tennessee and is powered by a 100 kilowatt motor connected to an 18.5 kilowatt hour battery. It has a top speed of 40 kilometers an hour but will be operated during this trial at a speed of only 25 kilometers an hour. It has a range of between 32 and 56 kilometers on a single charge. So the route will operate with a fleet of two ollies to ensure that one is always in operation while the other is being charged up. It will take about an hour and a half to charge up an ollie using a 220 volt charger. Well, we know autonomous and connected technologies are, are being developed uh, around the world right now. Uh, and they offer great potential uh, to improve mobility. And we think it's important to understand how these technologies can be safely incorporated into public transit services, making it easier for people to access transit, uh, which remains the, the best way to most efficiently move people through our transportation network. The Port of Whitby area offers some unique features for doing this pilot project. Uh, for one, there's close proximity to a major transit terminal, the Whitby GO station, which provides connecting services to both Durham Region Transit and GO services. Uh, the road network in around the area allows us to operate on uh, less major roads with lower volumes, lower speeds, and to access the transit station at that, uh, that way as well. And then um, uh, the level of demand for transit in this area is, uh, is, is better suited to a, a smaller size vehicle than a full size conventional bus. So the wave. Thanks, this should be fun. <laughs> the vehicle is equipped with a combination of LiDAR and radar sensors, as well as optical cameras, bumper sensors, and GPS positioning to keep it well aware of the live surroundings it travels through. The wave service will also be aided by more than 50 pieces of smart infrastructure from smart cone technologies along the route that eliminate blind spots experienced by any vehicle and provide real-time audio and visual alerts to other road users about the shuttle's operation. Uh, so today, this is fun. We're driving along and uh, you've been practicing this. You've been testing this route for a while now. Yes, definitely. We've been uh, working on this route for a little over 30 days now and we're ready to launch for public ridership soon. So you, you pick Whitby because it's a good demonstration area and obviously they're willing hosts and we've also got the, uh, the university playing a role in it as well, right? Yes, a lot of really key stakeholders that have worked together to bring this project to life. Just with the inclement weather, uh, what would prevent it in terms of weather? Is it a visibility? Is it a matter of precipitation on the ground? Yeah, so really we like to put our standard operating procedures surrounding visibility, so it's a much more tangible item. But really, once you're getting in that medium to heavy rain or snow, we would not operate service. Okay. There are currently more than 20 deployments of Ollie around the world, but WAVE will be the first in North America to be integrated with a public transit service and the longest continuous route in the world. Yeah, so we're thrilled to be launching this as DRT Route 300. It'll operate weekdays uh, between 8.30 and 3.30 p.m. and weekends between 7 a.m. or sorry, 8 a.m. and 7 p.m. There'll be no charge to ride the, fair, to ride, uh, the WAVE during the pilot. Uh, but there will be a charge if you're using it to connect to other services. You'll pay a regular fare when you board uh, connecting DRT or GO services. This pilot project is being undertaken by various partners to learn about how automated technologies can contribute to safer, more sustainable and connected transit and traffic operations. It will also help to provide insights as to what physical and digital infrastructure will be necessary to prepare for autonomous vehicles on public roads in Canada. The reality is that a service such as this is likely up to five years away from realistically being offered on a full-time integrated basis. But through these initiatives, there is much knowledge to be gained as well as public acceptance in advance of the day when autonomous public transportation is ready to roll out on a broader scale. 
Taking a little demo ride, the technology works great, but as you saw, it's uh, other people, the human factor, that still have some bugs to be worked out. And obviously with inclement weather, uh, we have to sort of overcome these, but it's really a great positive step to see something like this around. It does have a lot of viable applications in low density public transit. And let's not forget the fact that this is electric only, so it's a zero emission option. This is fun. And uh, like I said, be, uh, be watching for this. If you want to take this for a ride yourself, you can look up Durham Region Transit Route 300 while it's still around. But until next time, I'm Eric Novak. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. There's plenty of ways for you to keep connected with me, so check out some of my social media links, suggested videos, and you know I'd really love it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel.